And I would like to show you a demonstration that involves space and time. And for this, I need a volunteer. OK. How about you? Come down here. Face the audience. What's your name? Billy. Billy? Billy, would you like to earn a dollar? Yes. You have to earn it. <laughs> I didn't say, would you like to have it? I said, would you like to earn it? You know, Billy, dollar, it has a picture on, the, on it. You know who that is? George Washington. George Washington. Who was he? First president, that's right. Well, Billy, this is really quite easy. All you have to do is hold your fingers in front of you about that far apart. Can you do that? Right like that. Just opposite George Washington's picture on the dollar bill. OK? Now, what I'm going to do is drop the dollar bill, and all you have to do is catch it. And if you catch it, you can have it. Are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> oh, can you pick that up, Billy? I'll tell you what, you can have the bill. Now, I was pretty sure he couldn't catch the dollar bill because it's about seven centimeters from the end of the bill to George Washington's picture. And it takes about a tenth of a second for something to fall seven centimeters. And most people's reaction time is at least two tenths of a second. And so very few people could do that. In fact, you could do an experiment uh, yourself at home. If you have something like a meter stick or a yardstick or even a foot ruler, uh, if you hold it and have one of your friends hold their fingers opposite the 50 centimeter mark and then drop it, and see how far it falls before they catch it, you will, in essence, measure their reaction time. And the farther it falls, the slower their reaction time. 